सो वॉट इज द इटियोलॉजी ऑफ पी ई एम एज द नेम इट सेल्फ इज सेंग देर इज डिफिशंसी ऑफ प्रोटीन एज वेल एज कैलरीज दैट इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स नाउ इटियोलॉजी वाइज टू टाइप्स ऑफ पी ई एम कैन बी डिफाइंड इटियोलॉजी वाइज नॉट मॉर्फोलॉजिकली सो टू टाइप्स ऑफ एटियोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पी ई एम सेज दैट देर इज अ प्राइमरी पी ई एम एंड देर इज अ सेकेंडरी पी ई एम प्राइमरी प्रोटीन एनर्जी मेल न्यूट्रिशन इज दैट in which there is dietary or nutritional deficiency related to carbohydrates fats and proteins there is no other significant illness so only the intake is less that causes primary pem the second form is the secondary malnutrition in which the deficiencies occur due to either an underlying secondary reason for example the patient is having malabsorption there is celiac disease in the patient so because of long standing celiac disease undetected celiac disease cystic fibrosis the patient will develop features of malnutrition that is called as secondary malnutrition or the deficiency occurs the manifestations occur due to decreased utilization of proteins and carbohydrates in various disease states so if there are metabolic predispositions recurrent infections or similar scenarios which interfere with the proper recycling or the metabolic processes eventually resulting in the manifestations of the deficiency that is called as secondary pem in a normal setting what we normally find is that both primary and secondary forms are very difficult to distinguish each other and so uh, many of the new textbooks latest textbooks including uh, op ghai and nelson do not talk much about this classification however some of the textbooks like iap and uh, textbook of pediatrics by dr suraj gupta do talk about it because that has been the traditional way pem has been defined initially